All right, so I'm on my way to go check out a Phantom 4. I hopped on to offer up today as I sometimes do just to kind of see what deals are out there and see if there's anything cool. And I saw a Phantom 4 pop up for 400 bucks. Now, this seems obviously pretty sketch because usually cheap ones are damaged or you know, whatever else. So I messaged the guy and he says he still has it and basically lost his job and rent is due, so he needs to sell it quick. So I wasn't really planning on buying a Phantom 4 uh, ever, really, except for like an Advanced or Pro maybe, but this is a pretty crazy deal, so I'm gonna go over there, check it out. Now the guy did say that it is having a couple problems. I guess he tried to update it, and although you can hook up uh, the controller to it and fly it. The video feed is either non-existent or super choppy and the memory card has issues staying in there. So I, I did look up and it seems like the memory card thing is somewhat of a common problem. Um, it might have to go back to DJI, but also people are saying try a different memory card. So I did bring a different one that I'll try out. So I'm gonna go uh, check it out, fly it, and hopefully I'll be walking away with a uh, P4 that works properly and if not, you know, it's cheap enough to where I could probably get it fixed depending on what the damage is. So on the way to go check that out and hopefully we walk away with the uh, freaking awesome deal on a P4. Woo! All right. So went and met this kid and seemed like a nice guy. He had the Phantom. He bought it a couple months ago. Now for those wondering because of the price, I did ask as like, you know, how do I know it's not stolen kind of thing, even though obviously, you know, it's can only do so much when you're buying something used. Um, but he did pull up his uh, phone and he showed me his like Best Buy receipt from when he bought it three months ago. So, you know, about as legit as it comes and basically he's been trying to sell it uh, for a couple weeks now and had to drop the price kind of crazy with the end of the month coming up and rent due. So dropped the price and he flew it around. I did get a chance to fly it for about 15 seconds just to make sure it worked. Uh, he, We were having video feed problems. He said it's never been crashed and based on the condition of it, it doesn't look like it was ever crashed. So I pulled, uh, you know, check that out basically. The thing flies fine other than the camera issue and the memory card, which he did tell me about, which is kind of stuck in there with uh, a toothpick. Um, so that's kind of concerning, but I've also seen other people online claim to use a toothpick in a pinch, but he was using a super cheap memory card. So I'm going to try out one of mine, see if that fits in there and if it locks into place because you can hear it click, it just doesn't quite lock into place. But otherwise the drone itself seems really good. Uh, I've got a little case with it too. So kind of cool, a uh, $400 drone. Obviously I'm going to hook it up to my phone and check out the uh, you know, video feed problems. He did try to update it with his phone and I've had uh, issues with doing that. So I wonder if maybe there's just a firmware thing because otherwise the controller itself, uh, well actually it's not quite perfect. So the controller connects and everything, but when it is on, it makes, uh, there's a lot of beeps and flashing lights and stuff. So I'm gonna take a look at that and get that sorted out hopefully. Uh, but either way, now I've got the uh, Phantom 4 and I'm gonna go uh, test fly it. So hopefully nothing bad happens, no crashes, and hopefully I didn't buy something that's all screwed up and is gonna require a lot of uh, either money to fix, uh, especially now I'm, it's used so there's no warranty on it and you know I won't have to send it back and wait a couple weeks on that. So let's give it a shot and find out. So here it is and same thing, he showed me his uh, shipping order thing for this. He ordered this case like two weeks ago and so yeah, so I mean the thing is practically brand new. It's still got even like the little plastic uh, covering and everything on it. But I mean it's that brushed, you know, kind of aluminum look. So I'm sure it'll get scratched up pretty easily. But here's the drone itself. Came with propellers, uh, the charger, a, let's see, one battery, the controller, and of course the drone itself. And everything on it, I mean it's, it hasn't been crashed at least. Uh, not anything that actually damaged it. And the gimbal does work. The camera would move and everything when you're shaking it side to side. So hopefully we're good to go here. I'm just gonna get the controller updated and hopefully that was the problem here. Pulled everything out, went through all the updates. I did need to update the firmware on here, on the Phantom itself and on the controller. When I pulled that up, it was coming up with a bunch of errors. So I think what happened is, uh, at least based on what he was saying, uh, a couple weeks ago, he tried updating everything and it failed. And then after that, he couldn't update it. 
And so I think that's what was causing the video feed problems and also why he was having trouble selling it because obviously people are kind of worried about getting something that has uh, problems like that. So I went through, I updated it. It did take a couple tries to get it to finally go through and actually update. But once it started going, it seemed pretty happy. And as soon as it did finish updating, it said that I needed to calibrate the, the controller stick. So I went through and, and did all that. And so now it looks like we are all working. So let's give this thing a test flight. And yeah, oh, and then the other thing. So for the memory card, there is one. I The other one I pulled out, I pulled the little toothpick thing out. And I did put my SanDisk in there. I've also got a Lexar that I use and it popped right in there and snapped into place. So I think it's just the fact that the cheap memory card was being used. Another problem that this kid was having. So got that uh, swapped out. So I'll throw that thing away or maybe just use it for, I don't know, one of the other things that we have that uses SD cards, but it's some super cheap, no name, uh, eight gigabyte card so it hardly even holds anything and who knows if it would actually even be able to record all that well with the phantom so let's fire this thing up and find out if i bought a dud or if i just got an awesome deal so that's getting fired up and got the phantom right here just popped up the message that latest everything so which is good because i just checked all of that let's start flight hey what do you know all right, perfect. <laughs> Turn it over. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Heck yeah. And there it is. Let's go ahead and hit record just in case it does something crazy and smashes into me. Okay, ignore and Hey, we have liftoff. Heck yes. There's quite a bit of wind right now. You can see the trees sort of blowing, so it's uh, moving around a little bit and I still need to go through and triple check all the settings and uh, go from there. But otherwise, it's like we are set. Trying out a waypoint mission. Okay, so went through one full battery pack on the EP4 and everything seemed to go well. The recording was working, the video feed was working, and memory card didn't fall out. So, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know really if I'm going to keep it. I've really been looking at the P4 Advanced or the Pro or maybe even like the Inspire 1, but. I don't know, but this was a cool deal and I wanted to get a Phantom 4 again. So pick that up and who knows, play with it for a little bit and then turn around and sell it and pick up another drone.